Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, I've got a damaged range head. Looks like it melted in the fan blade. It doesn't look too, too bad, but it's going to be changing the belt. And could just change the fan blade. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah, it does. So. I was going to change the whole hood. I probably will just change the whole hood. I have a, have a new hood anyway. So I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I'm going to be changing this stove out anyway. So I'm going to get that out of the way first. Let's carefully pull it forward. Reach back and then plug it. You can do it without doing this, but this will just make it a little easier to get around in there. So, nice and carefully pull out the jumbo plug. There we go. And then so I'll just use my dolly and get that removed. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I brought my drill to make this a lot easier. What we're going to do is unplug this. This one up top. And I'll be probably reusing the cord here. So what we've got is four screws and if somebody installed it correctly, we'll be able to just loosen those and then slide it forward. If not, then we'll have to get a little more creative. There we go. Loosened. Loosened. It looks like they did, so that's great. It'll make this a lot easier. As we don't have to take the screws all the way out. Okay, just loosen those screws. And then in theory we'll be able to pull it forward and drop it down. Alright, and it looks like someone installed this without the protective uh, deal. The, uh, what do you call it? It's called a strain relief. Here's our cord. I don't think I'll be using this fan anywhere, so anyway, I'll need to go get the strain relief. The strain relief gets added on here. It makes it a lot better. I mean, it's not like it's going to go anywhere, and this cord has strong insulation but it's still more correct to have the strain relief. It just anchors, anchors the cord in there. So no problem. They also didn't even connect the ground wires. We'll make that better. And it was actually a stove fire on this one. It wasn't because of that, but yeah, it was, yeah, toast. Here, I'll prep my new one. I'll take that back with me and get rid of it that way. It's the same, same deal. I'll just pull the screw on the axis. That screw you gotta pull all the way out. So we'll hook up the wiring and this time we'll have a strain relief with it. Came with the mounting cap for a couple different applications. But yeah, what I wanted to do was use the box for the old one and get rid of it. Especially because it's got like soot and carbon stuff on it that's getting those hands. Watch out for the staples in the box, they'll scratch up your hands pretty good. Okay, located my screen relief and a light bulb. 
the light bulb just goes behind this deal. You can take the cover off, but you can also kind of reach in there and just screw in the light bulb. Yeah, the correct angle, it's nice and easy. I'll show you the cover off too. You can pull these two, squeeze. There it is. Don't necessarily have to take off the cover to get the light bulb done, but there we go. That's that. So you can see the two neutral wires and then twisted together, and the two hot wires twisted together. One goes to the light, one goes to the fan. So that's what we're going to do. Take our cord, pass it on through the strain relief, and we want this section to go through. So what we do is pass our cord on through here. And we're going to loosen up this deal, and then we're going to tighten it over the insulated portion of the cord. That'll give it its best seat over the cord, and that'll make the strain relief. There we go. So just pass that as good. And then this ground wire, we'll need to strip it off and ground it. Just a tiny bit safer. Making things right how they should have been from the beginning. Anyway, so now we're tightening on the strain relief. And the strain relief is just like it sounds. It means if anyone pulls on the cord, it doesn't pull it right out of the appliance, it just holds it. And it also acts to protect the wiring so that it doesn't rub against the case of the metal, a sharp edges of the sheet metal, it's unfinished, and go. in this way, could do that a little longer, there we go, and we'll wrap that around the ground screw. So now we pass this through, and then here's the other part of the string relief. And this has a pop-out that we need to pop out first. So it's a little easier from the back, or you can do it from the front. And take the flat part of the screwdriver and just insert it in between. Right here. And then just kind of bend it back and forth a little bit. Show you here. You can also hammer it out with a knock out, you know. But this way it will just work hard in that little bit of feel that's connected. And you just got to be a little careful there as it's again unfinished metal, so it'll have sharp edges. Get the bigger portion of my screwdriver, I think it'll work better. I need to add a little. WD or silicone spray to my screwdriver. But if we just bend it back and forth, eventually it'll work hard and it'll come right out. There we go. Alright. Now we can pass through the strain relief. And again, just be careful as it's unfinished metal. So now it passes through there. We take our strain relief deal, pass the wiring through. Slip the ring over. And then just twist it on. This I can just twist the back of it while holding in that a little bit, it'll be in there really strong. You can also take your flat screwdriver again and just kind of anchor it over or you can tap it on. 
like so. Anyway, done deal. All right. Now I've got my wire nuts. So just hot to hot, black to black, white to white, and then the ground. This is unplugged, so it doesn't matter, but normally you'd hook up the ground first, then the neutral, then the, then the hot. Safest progression for hooking things up, but this is cool, so it doesn't really matter. But just telling you, someone might leave it in the comments anyway. So, better to work on things unplugged, de energized. All right, and then the ground wire. Take and just wrap around that green screw. There we go. And we'll tighten that up. Got power tools today. Makes things much easier. All right, that's done. And now we've got our cover here. Covers all the wiring. So the wiring just goes, just tuck it inside. And then this has these two teeth here, goes like that. Again, we'll just tuck our wiring so it's in there. There we go. And our side screw in right here. Sounds easy enough, right? Sometimes they're stubborn, especially when they don't have a point on the screw. There we go. Cool. Alright. Now we're going to pass our cord up and through. I took the opportunity to clean up below where the stove was. So we pass the cord up and through. And now we're going to slide it onto the screws and we're going to pull that cord up and through first so it gets it in our way. Now, ideally that strain relief will line up right to go right into the, into the hole. Actually in. in theory, should be able to tighten everything down now. Plug it in. We are mounted. There we go. And now here's our light. Here's our fan. All right. If you ever need to replace or want to replace the range filter, you just turn this deal, pop it on down. Just got to make sure that this isn't sunk in too much so that it doesn't hit the fan. High speed, low speed. This is a non-vented range hood. It just rents, it just vents into the space and uses a carbon filter to clean the air. It doesn't exactly, it doesn't actually exhaust the air. But that's that. Nice new range hood. All changed out. Armor. And a nice new stove. <laughs> 